I'm Sandra Flower, I'm a textile tutor for OCA and I'd like to talk about the work of a Textiles 3 student who has just presented a body of work for assessment. She has been investigating the concept of incidental marks through print processes and collagraphs and I'd like to talk about the way in which she's used research in the broadest possible sense to develop her ideas and to arrive at her final pieces. So she started by focusing on and exploring unintended marks uh, or traces of gestures and actions. And she started by taking a series of photographs where she's looked at tape or adhesive tape that's been removed from windows or walls. She developed this into a series of printed surfaces where she has tried to create incidental marks creating a range of different effects using rusted materials and leaving objects on paper over a period of time so that both time and erosion were part and parcel of the work. She then looked back to work that she'd done on a previous assignment at level two, where she developed a series of print plates and she referred to those because she felt that they had more of the incidental marks and traces that were more appropriate to her concept. So she took those forward and started to use those and let those deteriorate and use those as a series of pieces to develop into a new piece of work. From the print plates, she's then moved into doing a series of drawings using mono printing, drawing with ink and water onto tracing paper, exploring card prints and creating a huge body of expressive mark making and lots of different types of surfaces that she could then use to print on. She was interested in moving away from a pictorial representation of these found marks but really trying to create a process or it was all about process really and trying to create work that looked as though it had been arrived at naturally. From the drawings, she's then moved into fabric experimentation and again trying to create or approach fabric pieces with a similar intention. So again, she's looked at exploring ways of altering the surface through the process of incidental secondary marks through time, so leaving pieces to erode or burying pieces of fabric to see what happened, to de distress the fabric, stain it and deconstruct it. And from this, she's then moved in to develop a series of textile pieces for her final submission.